Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Ryu. So we're going to go right on into this and start up a new game. Era. Free play. You can play as long as you want, but you will not progress. Uh, and we don't want to do the beginning. We do. We can set up a time limit, but uh, I don't think we want to go for 60 or something other minutes. All right, so let's start this. Oh. Danger can completely stop the greed growth of a village, but the dangerous animals can also kill villagers, or be killed by the villager's army. Alright. A new era begins. Developments achieved. Three of six, I don't think we got that before. So, alright, so we can achieve nine more developments to achieve the next level. And the three that we have not done yet are a forest village, which has a hundred village prosperity, a desert tribe, or a swamp tribe, all with a hundred prosperity, but... Alright, so we're gonna try and see if we can do that. Level 1 Fertility. Progressively raises the chances of getting a better aspect upon up to potent aspect. Okay, that's interesting. So, let's try to set up a... Um... A, a, a large village thing. Let's try to just throw everything we can at a village area. Uh, the sw oh, not a swamp, but a... Uh, a forest village place to see if we can get something like that set up and that literally just overrid everything oh no wait, never mind no it didn't it just disappeared for a second gotcha alright so we're gonna throw a forest thing down right here and so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Not who I wanted to go there, but it'll work. Okay, so create another swamp right here. Uh, ocean right there. That'll be good. Nice sneeze, guy. Good job. Alright, so. If we're going to be doing that, let's set some chickens right here. Or, not chickens, but fruit. Okay. And that's plus 10 food if next to another thing that gives food. We also have the fertility boost on this guy, so that's nice. We can also unlock something called Migrate, and we have a forest village already. Good! Good. Try using fruit plants and domestic animals. Hmm. Okay, so we, have, we can use lesser food aspect if... Wait, is that food or fruit? Fruit aspect. Which we can get from unlocking the forest ambassador. So, they're going to need 30 food. And he's already set up that ocean. So let's get him to come over here. And set up some chickens! We need chickens! And while we do that, let's raise a, another forest right here. And I did it right this time. <laughs> a new nomad is roaming the, uh, the planet. Looking for a nice place to settle a new village. Make a nice place for it to settle with some natural resources. Actually, let's make a swamp one right here. It might not be a good idea to throw everything we have at a... at one kind of thing, so... We'll pretty much just kind of have all of the, uh... the giants going between a swamp area and the grass area. Forest area, whatever. So that we don't have to send them halfway across the planet. Time after time after time after fucking time. Alright, so we get a swamp area here, so we need to give this place tech. I, I'm pretty sure, right? Yes. Alright, so let's add tech right here. Tech herbs. Alright, these chickens get plus food. So this should reach up to 30 um, eventually. Creates animals that increase wealth. Alright, the Swamp Village has been settled. Swamp Villages often start projects that require technology. Try using advanced minerals and herb plants. Okay, for each mineral next to it. So let us put a mineral right here next to the peppermint schnapps. Good. Alright, so currently we have Legion Rock settled and Highville settled. And we need to complete... The granary. The tool shop challenge has started. Neat. Okay, so we need 15 tech and 15 wealth, which shouldn't be that big of a deal. That shouldn't be that hard. We just need to get some exotic animals set up right here. 
There we go. Plus two wealth and plus one animal range if next to elderberry. Eh, it increased it enough. It'll take it. It'll take it a little bit of time, but it should get up there. Now we can also put up a fertility boost. We can upgrade something with the leaf aspect. We use the leaf aspect on this. Gives more food if they are close to certain plants, but they're not. It's the range of the village, yeah. You know. Can't really do anything with that yet. They have no war makers. Neither of them have any war makers, which I guess is good. I mean, war is bad. War very bad. It might also be a good idea maybe to just replace this with uh, <laughs> advanced minerals. Wait a minute. Advanced minerals, tech, and what? Whoa, 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 I can do both? What is this shit? I didn't know that. Okay, so let's make this one a wealth mineral. There we go. That's quite a lot. Alright, plus 10 wealth up next to an animal nest. Man, that's gonna be difficult. Can't really do that. You okay there, Swamp Man? Don't throw up everywhere. That'd be nasty. I need sneezes. They're just like all getting sick or some shit. Okay, so let's move all these guys kind of near the middle. There's not a lot we can do. These guys are getting close to what they need to do. They're, they're yeah, they're literally one away, and these guys are two away. So that's good. All right, the forest and uh, the forest ambassador has appeared. He can upgrade the following abilities: forest giant, fruit aspect. I do want the fruit aspect actually. So let's go get that. I didn't really give a goddamn about reading the rest of them, because I already have an idea of what I want to do with this. Alright, and there we go. The Swamp Ambassador has appeared. He can upgrade the following abilities. Forest Giant Migrate allows you to move natural sources around. Nah. What about Swamp Giant? Toxic Aspect, Seismic Aspect... Mm -hmm. I'm kinda a little partial to giving it to the Ocean Giant at the moment, but I also maybe to... I'll probably give it to the Swamp Giant. It seems pretty... I mean, pretty obvious to kind of give it to that guy. Alright, so we have the Fruit Aspect, which I can now use on these blueberries. And upgrade it to an Apple Tree. Nice. Alright, plus 8 food and plus 2 Natura for each animal nest near it. And this is the toxic aspect, which can be used on plants, which can turn... Huh. All right, so let us throw the toxic aspect onto this. And then I'll upgrade that to a marshmallow. Alright, plus 15 tech and plus 10 awe if next to an animal nest. Which I could actually throw down the exotic animal thing right here. And neither of these two are getting really greedy either. So there we go, plus 15 tech. We're at 44 tech for the village now, which is very, very nice. Is this considered an animal nest? I I would assume so. Or does it have to be like uh, Ocean Guy? Let's try it with the Ocean Guy. Let's override that real quick. It doesn't really matter. I mean, we can always do it again. No. Okay. No, it didn't really change. Yeah, they're still at 44. So there's that. Okay. So this is for each animal nest nearby. So we need the lesser hunt aspect, which we would need to get from the <laughs> desert ambassador. Hmm. All right, I can do. I can do that. That shouldn't be too hard. So let us throw down. Uh, I think the exotic animals would be better here. So I'm gonna check down that. Yeah. Okay. Good. That's fine. Now then, let us throw down a. Throw down a mountain like right the fuck here. I think that'd be nice. Cause I don't want to. I don't want these guys to have to travel really, really fucking far. That would just seem obnoxious, you know. 
also yeah that's fine I don't really care okay so these guys are doing okay no greed no greed they have a pretty nice army pretty good defenses so we'll raise a mountain right here perfect all right so these guys um, here in the desert are going to want mm, precious minerals right yeah they're gonna be mostly wealth based good so we'll just add that here and maybe who else has stuff that gives wealth this guy right Zonic animals all right, the desert village has settled. Desert villages often start projects that require wealth. Try using precious minerals and exotic animals. There we go, exotic animals. That's just what I thought. Okay, so we'll throw down the exotic animals right here. And I don't think you can use the toxic aspect on exotic animals, although... Um... I don't know why I zoomed out, but, uh, yeah. Okay, so the tool shop challenge has been started. It needs wealth and technology. I didn't know it required tech. But I can deal with that. I can dig it. Okay, so we'll add a little bit more wealth right here, and then add some herbs right here. Let's are exotic, let's are predator. Yeah, we don't really have anything like that. Alright, so withered shrubs, lesser leaf aspect. Hey! You have leaf aspect, right? So what will this do? Because of high food on the patch. Oh wait, lesser toxic, lesser toxic aspect works too. Okay, so we'll use toxic aspect on that. Okay, that's nice. There we go. Is that going to be enough? Uh... No, it's not. We're going to need more tech. Which... Yeah, I'll replace this. Okay, that's not a big, that's not a big deal. This plant is locked. Okay, so that should be fine for that. Hmm. Is it different if we use the leaf aspect? Wait, wait, before we do that, let's use the fertility boost on it. See if that actually changes anything. Yeah, because it gives it that up arrow thing on it. Alright, so let's use the leaf aspect on it now. Potent leaf aspect. Plus four tech, so that raises it to 17, so that means we will get that eventually. Okay, so let's have all these guys kind of move over a little bit. You should be at the top of the mountain there, guy. You're good. Alright, so how are these guys over here doing? No greed. No greed. These villages respect the giants. Remember, to advance in the game, you need to unlock greater powers and eras. You need to achieve different developments. Yeah, okay, get it. Thank you. Okay, so the ocean giant fires an aurora wave. And hey, nothing too much there. Hmm. Alright, the plantation challenge has stopped. Wait, plantation challenge? Did these guys not make, make something yet? Holy shit, they need 125 food. Oh god. Okay, so... The workshop challenge has started over here. What are they gonna need? They're gonna need food and wealth and tech. How the fuck are we gonna do this? Okay, so I guess the big thing is... I don't even know. I don't even know. Sweet Jesus' tits. What are we, how are we going to do this? Okay. Everybody needs to move over here. We'll 
we'll solve this one first. We just gotta figure out how we're gonna do this. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, there's a, there's a uh, little bit of a bump right there. Nothing too serious. Okay, so. Anyway. So, um... Okay, the Desert Ambassador has appeared. He can upgrade the following abilities. Forest Giant, don't give a shit. Ocean Giant, don't give a shit. Um, Rock Giant. Wealth. I'm gonna give it to the Rock Giant. I think that'd be the best. You, we need you over here. Get your leafy ass over here. Okay, so this. Cannot do anything to that. Well, that's her noble aspect. Yeah, that's... I think that's what he's going to go get, right? Hold on. I would give this noble aspect. Yes, okay, good. And adds wealth. Oh, these people just looking like they're having fun. They look like they're having fun. Okay, noble aspect. Okay, the giants are stronger. At some point, the humans will no longer be impressed with completing some projects and demand higher level projects. With six ambassadors given, the humans will no longer give ambassadors for normal projects. With ten ambassadors, no longer for upgraded projects. With fourteen ambassadors, no longer with great projects. Press the red cross to, uh... Let's have him come back over here. And, uh, Leaf Man, put a fertility thing on this. Yeah, it's a 25% chance. Level 1 fertility. Alright, so let's upgrade this. When next to plants. Next to an animal nest. Okay, this thing, the thing. The weird thing is this requires ten food to be fully mined. They require food anyway, so that's that's fine. Okay, so let us use a food plant. Now, does that count for that? I hope so. Alright, so we can get pineapple with fruit aspect near mineral enriched ground. So yeah, we're going to use the fruit aspect on this because it's going to synergize well with this topaz over here. So let's upgrade that to pineapple. Plus 14 food if next to a mineral. I guess we need to put another Precious mineral, I guess? If next to a mineral. Okay, yeah, we'll put the mineral right here. Ooh, the village is growing. Hot damn! Okay, so we will then have him give it a fertility boost. And then a noble aspect thing, and then there we go. We can upgrade that to topaz. Requires ten food to be fully mined, and there we go. We got ten food now. So that's active. That's active. We can't upgrade it anymore, but that's fine. We're still really short on food and tech, but food will eventually get there. So that's not that big of a deal. But we're still really, really short on tech. So let's... We have that spot over there open. If next to an animal nest. Um... Let's go give this another noble aspect thing. Alright, so there's that. So we can make some new herbs. Yeah, we'll make some new herbs. Because these poison dart frogs aren't doing a damn thing. 
Alright, so that gives us the wealth we need. So we can either upgrade this to tomatoes or marshmallows. And I think the marshmallows would be better. There we go. It actually does... It actually gives less tech now than it did before. Maybe... Throwing this down would be a better idea. Okay, so how are these guys feeling over here? They're fine. These guys over here are fine. These guys here are fine. And that gave us a shit ton of technology, apparently. Plus six tick if next to this or that. Because we can use either crystal aspect or reaction aspect, and I don't think we have either of those. No, we don't have either of those. Damn it. But no, that should re that sh this should eventually reach its thing. So yeah, we actually are going to get the workshop. It's going to take it a while, but we'll eventually get it. Now these guys need a shit ton more food. Okay, so if that's the case, how big is their village now? Very, very, very big. We can do a lot of things over here. Okay, so we'll add a fruit thing right here. And then do that. A lot of food if they are close to animals, so let's give that the fruit aspect. Neat. Can we give it the fruit aspect again? Because it seemed to have, like. Yeah, there we go. That's fucking awesome. Perfect. Okay, so Crabman, where are you? Let's go add some domestic animals right here. Because, I mean, this gives... For each animal nest nearby. So yeah, there we go. There's that. Alright, the pro a project is close to running out of time. But the patches within borders are already taken. Don't forget, you can use aspects to get just that little extra that you need. The more rare aspects also give boosts. Which one's getting close to it? Oh, this one. I don't think we're going to get this one. Okay, so chickens for each blueberry in range. Meaning, let's throw down a plant thing right here. It's 83. So we're at 100 for that. So that adds to the chickens, right? Yes, it does. So we still have this crap over here to work with. So let's start moving our way downtown. Fruit aspect to this. Perfect. And it's a lesser one, but it'll work. It's fine. It's adding a little bit. So we're at it, but we need to keep increasing, otherwise we're not really going to make our deadline, so to say. Okay, the geologist challenge has started. What do we need for this? A shit ton of wealth and a shit ton of technology. And at least three mountain patches. At least three mines. <sighs> God damn it. What if we use this on here? Alright, it looks like one of your villages is getting quite greedier. The greedier a village is, the more likely they are to attack other villages. Remember that greed grows if a village grows too fast. You can stop greed from growing by having danger within the borders, but too much danger will destroy the village. You can also use awe, which allows the village to grow faster without getting greedy. You can read more detailed info on the tooltips. Which village is getting greedy? Oh, this one is. Or is it this one? Definitely that one. Most definitely this one. Also, I don't think this project's gonna make it. They're just not gonna get enough. So, we need to go over here, start creating some wealth, getting some mines. Because that other one's not gonna make it, which sucks. I spent way too much time on that other one, but maybe if we're lucky, it'll get there. You never know. Okay, so the geologist. Objectives. Three mountain patches? What happens if we raise a mountain right here? Quartz. 
Oopsies. Not what I wanted to do. Alright, the Swamp Ambassador has appeared. He can upgrade the following abilities. I think... I'll give him to the Swamp Guy again. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. The Plantation Challenge has failed. And these guys are attacking. Oh, damn it. Muck bomb. Well, looks like we're going over here. That sucks. I didn't want to have to do this, guys, but you kind of forced my hand. Also, move faster, Swamp Guy, otherwise, uh, you're going to get people killed. That didn't really do things. Are they... are they... yeah, they're no longer... They're no longer getting all angsty about it. Good. Okay, so their greed is up. Greedy villagers cause mischief. There we throw another, uh... Bomb right here. Whoa, guys, calm your tits. Legion Rock, you might want to calm down. You're being assholes. They are being assholes. <sighs> All this time I spent trying to make you guys happy, and what does it get me? Nothing but fucking trouble. Look at this village over here. The Ocean Giant is under attack. Why do they hate the Ocean Giant so much? What the fuck did he ever do? Villagers demand, the giants give them more. I don't think they really want the rock giant to come over here and do this. <sighs> what do they really want? Can't even imagine what they would want at this point. Grades up. Plant with tech. On, we'll do it here. You want shit, you got shit. There you go. And if you start getting all pissy again, we will crush you. Alright, so Rock Giant cannot pick up that guy. It's pretty much gonna have to. Actually, it's gonna have to be the Ocean Giant. Well, look at that. Alright, so unlocks with a Swamp Ambassador. I mean, I could sink this whole village with a goddamn ocean, so I mean, I don't even know what they're trying to do here. Oh great, I'm probably actually gonna fail this one now because of these jackasses. The mill challenge has started. And they need technology for it. Fan freaking tastic We're gonna have to give these guys tech. After all the shit that they put us through, we gotta give them tech. Alright, so they have more than enough food, so let's just sprinkle this crap right here. They're going to need 40 tech. Toxic aspect. Throw this down right here. I really don't want to give these guys anything, but we kind of do need their ambassadors. This is kind of shitty. If next to a mineral, we can't really give them a mineral, now can we? Actually, we could. Who's he under attack by? Who the fuck is he under attack by? Ocean Giant, use a pansy. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Never mind. These guys are retarded. 
If they want to be assholes, let's just crush them. Sorry, guys. Okay, a little bit too much. Rock giant. Um, but you know, whatever. That gives us time to go work on other things. I think maybe the one, uh, maybe, maybe just one more punch would have been enough, but, uh, you know what, never mind. It, it's all okay, don't worry about it. Also, heal yourself, Ocean Giant. Good. Wow, everybody's moving fast. I like it! I like it! Okay, so... Legion Rock has been destroyed. That fucking sucks. Okay, so they got four mountain patches. They need more mines. They need tech and wealth. Let's put a wealth thing right here. And then we can probably upgrade that. Um, noble aspect, yeah. Uh, something happened, I don't know what. Alright, Topaz, so... They need more food if they're going to use this. Alright, the forest village has been settled. Forest villages often start products that require food! Yay! Let's pause this real quick. <laughs> they should have plenty of fucking food, they just have to reach it. So their prosperity is two. What are these guys' prosperity? 177! Holy shit. They're doing fine. They are doing literally just fine. Okay, so... Um... Okay, they need food. So let's add a fruit plant right here. Alright. Leaf aspect. Hmm. And the granary challenge has started. They should be able to get that just fine. Let's put the leaf aspect on this. Never mind, I think we just did exactly what we did before. Fan freaking fantastic. Happens if we, uh. put a fruit patch up here. Yeah, because if it's next to a plant, it's, it's fine. So we get kumquats up here. That's within the village, right? Yes, it is. Good. So that's eight food. But they still need more food. Mm, kumquats give eight more food if next to another plant. So maybe if we add this right here, and then wait for more fruit plants. There we go. Okay, plus 10 tech and plus 5 natura if next to an animal nest. Dude, you okay up there, Rock Giant? You're, you're acting a little, uh. Not okay, actually. Okay, so we still need. More technology and more wealth. So. To increase. That. Let's go over here. With that, the forest ambassador has appeared. He can upgrade the following aspects. Good. Can he get this guy? Yeah, anybody can get him now. Awesome. Oh, wait, crystal aspect. <gasps> Ooh, what can he get? Nothing. Alright, the giants are starting to lose their energy and will start to sleep now between now and one minute. If you're lucky, you might be able to improve nature, nature just a bit more. Damn, that sucks. Okay, so we're about that at the end of this one, it seems. Eh. We'll go get the swamp guy with this. These guys are... Like, look at how... Gr like, this whole forest area is just greedy as hell. That's sad. That's really sad.
Yeah, their prosperity is 41. What's these guys' prosperity? 73. Good enough. Oh no. He's already asleep. They're all asleep. Except for you. Why the fuck aren't you asleep? Why of all of the guys are you the one that didn't go to sleep? And you're the fucking most useless one. Probably because he's not feeling too good. Alright, let's also do the Aurora thing. Alright, it's time for the planet to sleep again. Oh god. Alright, Genesis Era. Finish an era, era with 750 prosperity. You unlock dragon fruit. Dragon fruit transmutes from kumquats or ginger. And neat. Physics. You unlocked iron. Iron exists in the forest, desert, and mountains and transmutes from copper and salt. Specialization with a completed upgraded project. Unlock papaya and the swamp tribe. You unlock the white willow. Nice! Oh, yeah, actually did. I think we actually did really good on that. So, hope everybody enjoyed this probably two episodes of Reuse. I will see you guys next time. Or one. I might put it all together. You never know. Have fun out there, everybody.